Welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Don, and I'm joined today by Anand with Panasonic Avionics. Hi, Don. Hi, Anand. Tell us a little bit about Panasonic Avionics. Panasonic Avionics is the leading provider of in-flight entertainment and connectivity solutions for the airline industry. Great. So my internet access, my in-flight movies? Live television as well. Okay. Well, good deal. So what is the architecture that we're looking at here today? So today's architecture is going to talk about how we are now able to proactively predict and inform our customers of any weather, severe weather affecting their internet connectivity on the plane. Good. Setting expectations is always good. That's so right. let's talk about the data that's coming in. So with this, mo with this model, what we are trying to do is we are trying to get a number of uh, data sources, both public and private, mm -hmm. weather data, as well as our flight data that shows us which flight is flying where mm -hmm. and so on. We also bring a lot of our internal data sets that we use as part of our you know, processing. Okay, so I assume that that data has to be transformed? That is correct. So once the data lands in S3, what we do is we actually serve it out of lake formation. Okay. And we also make sure that the data is actually properly, you know, ETL'd mm -hmm. and served back as part of our data catalog. Great. So now I see SageMaker here, so I'm assuming you're building and training models? That is correct. Okay. So uh, prior to this, we never used to be able to predict accurately if there was going to be a weather impact. Right. And you know, kind of setting expectations was a little hard. So with, with this new ML model that we have deployed, what we can do is the data that gets processed in, mm -hmm. uh, in SageMaker, and we are now able to predict 24 to 48 hours in advance mm -hmm. if there is going to be weather impact to a specific flight segment and proactively inform our customers and set the right expectations. Good, I like that. So how does Athena and QuickSight, how are they used? Correct. Once the predictive data is available, and this mm -hmm. happens, you know, constantly. Mm -hmm. Data is now available both through Athena as well as QuickSight for visual dashboards, both by our operational personnel as well as our engineering team, as well as anybody who really like to visualize predictive data as part of our executive team. Got it. So how does the user and the ops, how are they notified? How do they yeah. interact? So with, with the predictive models, we also make sure that, you know, there are notifications that are sent out mm -hmm. using our standard notification mechanisms at least 24 to 48 hours in advance if we, in fact, predict a certain weather pattern that is going to affect connectivity on a Got specific it. plane segment. Got it. So, so as, a, as a, uh, a consumer, as someone who's flying often, I'm going to be a little bit happier with the expectations that have been set. And you can prepare early for your flight. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for sharing this architecture today, Anand. Happy to be here. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching This Is My Architecture.